Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to another, and we haven't gotten these in a while, Arena Crystal Opening Worth of Data Commentary, this time submitted by Mr. Shadow Brian. And uh, what he has sent me, I believe, is over 5 million battle chips worth of data, which, if you are unfamiliar with what the data likes to say, it is that a good opening is 1,000 units per 500,000 battle chips, which means a 5 million battle chip opening would have a goal of 10,000 units, something I normally only talk about when we're discussing things like July 3rd now weekend uh, or Cyber Weekend or what Kabam added to 2020 for the first time, a third holiday. Not as big as those two, but it was still pretty big, and that was the spring cleaning Deadpool event that they marketed uh, in the spring. So, here we go. And uh, Steve Wester dropping a generous $5 holler, apparently. Here we go. Steve, thank you. <laughs> I've never had that happen before where I was commentating and in the middle of it, I got a PayPal donation. <laughs> oh, we know who's gonna be the student of the day today. I was really confused at first because I'm like, wait, did Shadow Brian get a PayPal donation from Steve? Steve just dropping that those five dollar hollers everywhere. Man, well you can tell this is uh, not pre-recorded with voiceover when that happens. All right, here we go. So he is already over two thousand units, which sounds really impressive. And hey, who wouldn't take a free two thousand units? And I say the word free in somewhat sarcastic terms because. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the arena grind is anything but free in terms of the level of uh, commitment that it takes. But uh, we'll see how close he gets to 10,000 units. Kind of a slowed down. He had some real good luck at the beginning, but it slowed down a little bit as he is questing continues for 3,000. Uh, units. This is officially with a 5 million battle chip amount. What I tell people, if you want to try your hand at uh, everybody's favorite gamble known as the uncollected arena crystals, I would say 5 million battle chips is the minimum that I would that it would take me to open those. Because even though you can strike it rich and hit that unit RNG once or twice, you're also going to strike out and get zero units for a batch of 100,000. Because that's how much when you pop 10 uncollected arena crystals, that's how many battle chips it takes, 100,000 or 10,000 per. And because it's five times the price, I recommend hoarding five times what I normally recommend for arena crystal openings, which is at least 1 million battle chips worth of data. So keep in mind, he is almost uh, halfway through, and the goal originally was about 5,000 units. Uh, at this point, and he is at 4860. So it's not that he is that far off, but he's going to need a better back half. And as Mama Bear likes to say, everything's better in the back half. So maybe the amount of units will follow that as well. I've also noticed, and I don't know if this is a problem right now because it seems like it's pretty small, but keep in mind that there is another huge visual glitch when it comes to opening things like four hour crystals and even in arena crystals, where it'll tell you you got. 35 energy refills and you'll freak out and you'll get all excited and I always tell people who send me those screenshots did you actually check your inventory overflow because I can all but guarantee you don't have 25 energy refills hanging out in overflow and they'll say well I bet I do you're wrong and then they'll go to it and they'll find like four and then they'll be sad wah wah but eight seems somewhat believable to me all right, well, he's over 6,300. That's officially over two Odin's worth, thanks to the arena grind of Mr. Shadow Brian. So uh, there you have it. And if he only gets 1,002 more units, and now we're talking about less than that, uh, he will have 20,000 units in his inventory, which let me tell you, it's a good feeling. People keep asking me, Prof, what do you save your 20,000 plus units for? And I say, eventually, whenever I can, and Lord knows when that's going to be, more of the abyss, because right now I am focused on taking those uh, six stars to rank three, but I also will say that uh, it's such a gamble to open up those tier five class catalyst crystals, because of course they're not selectors, even when you 100% explore the abyss. I also don't know who I would actually target out of 
the uh, the crystal, I probably would go mutant to either do Omega Red or Magneto, but I don't know. All right, so rounding that home stretch, about less than 400 after this. And he has 2,000 units to go. So it's looking like he might be under the target unless he gets some really good luck, which he hasn't had in the last 20. But he's going to finish well over 20,000. In fact, it would be almost impossible for him to not at least get to 21,000 with this many at this point. And so uh, that is encouraging. And he is officially over 21,000 easily. <laughs> and then his screen flipped out quite literally. Uh, let's see if he can at least get 1,000 units within the goal. And he is uh, less than 1,000 units away from the overall goal. So this really matches up with what the data has continued to recommend is the definition of a quote-unquote good uh, crystal opening. I would set this so far at the definition of average. 9,495 units is the average for that many um uh, battle chip crystals but at the same time it's just good to remind yourself of what you can reasonably expect now also keep in mind 9400 units is just over three odin's worth of units that yes it's a ton of time in the arena but that's 300 dollars worth of units that you did not have to worry about spending money on and of course if you're a free-to-play player you don't have the luxury of worrying at all because you actually don't spend money on the game. I also appreciate it because this video was originally, as you can tell, almost 15 minutes long, and I told him I did not want to commentate and put on my channel a 15-minute Arena Crystal video because I just didn't think it was worth the audience's time, and so he sped it up uh, about 300% to make this happen, and that is certainly appreciated. Have a good day, YouTube, and thanks again to Shadow Brian for submitting this Arena Crystal data commentary video.